Hey guys, this is your Azu and you review the Leapin Liquid Lake Star Wars Rogue One Robo Ewing Fighter. So this is the box here. So you can see it's recommended for just eight and up and comes with six hundred and eighty-nine pieces. And this is set zero five zero five four and comes with five may five may fix, uh which are Bastan, a Rebel Trooper, uh the Ewing pilot, Cassian Andor, and also Jin Urso. So uh, yeah, you can see uh, the box art is uh, pretty much the exact same to the official Lego. So this is the side of the box here. And this is the other side of the box. So this is the top of the box here. And uh, as you can see, it does have a uh, carrying handle, which is a... Uh, very normal thing for leaping to do and you just have all the extra size and stuff like that but um, yeah so this is the back of the box here and yeah it just shows you all the features and um, yeah but aside from that that's it for the box so uh, this set does also include uh, this big uh, cray right here which is a very common thing for big sets so these are all the extra pieces here, um, so there's this one which is all inside the packaging and um, yeah, I, I decided to kept it like this because, you know, it, it's uh, much easier I guess, but um, yeah, there's also a lot of uh, like accidental ones I guess, but yeah, so you have this big Technic piece right here which is um, I guess a nice to get and um, there's a uh, quite a few of these connector pieces and um, there's also all these uh, plate pieces and yeah uh, it uh, does also have this uh, extra hand and also has all these studs right here and yeah you also have this one and also this grill piece and finally you have this uh, extra spring load missile and uh, you also have this uh, brick separator, which is a uh, different one from the Astro Lego. And yeah, just uh, pretty basic. And uh, this also comes with uh, a lot of extra weapons because they, uh, like, I guess they are um, lazy to remove them from the mold. But yeah, uh, you have this uh, gray, and you have all these black ones. And yeah and you know pretty nice to get all these extras because uh yeah they're pretty nice uh, pieces to get but um yeah so aside from that that's it for all of the extra pieces so first off on uh, mayfix this is the robo trooper so He's armed with uh, this uh, blaster here, which is apparently in gunmetal gray. And yeah, you can see his helmet here. Uh, it's a pretty common uh, Rebel Trooper helmet. And um, yeah, it's uh, actually not accurate to the official LEGO one because uh, the official LEGO one is supposed to be a new mode, I believe. I'm, I'm not quite sure, but yeah, uh, this is a Rebel Trooper uh and no rebel trooper uh, helmet and yeah it, it's uh, from the imperial shadow tidarium set and um yeah uh, it, it's a it, it does kind of suck but yeah it, it still looks uh, okay because um yeah it, it's still on the rebel trooper but um yeah just uh, kind of a little bit um a, of a unfortunate thing there but yeah uh, removing the helmet you can see uh, the face here is a, a very common face and the torso printing you have all these pouches uh, and you got all the straps and stuff like that and the uh, the leg printing you have uh, the belt and you have two of those pouches on each side and you just have a little bit of uh, printing right there so uh, the back here you can see you have this strap and you got this pouch and uh, you also have this hoodie tough thing, which um, I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to be, but yeah, looks like a hoodie to me. But um, 
yeah, uh, like, aside from that, that's it. For so, the second figure here is Bustan. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it correctly, but yeah, uh, he's armed with uh, this uh, blaster here, and uh, yeah, right off the bat, you can see, he, uh, like, this, uh, this head mode is um, very inaccurate because yeah, uh, it, it has this band, black band type of thing under the uh, head, and uh, yeah, uh, there's none of that uh, in this head, and yeah, like um, it's it's leaping, wa wanting to save money. So that's one of the bad things that you get when you buy Lego bootlegs or le just leaping, and yeah, um, it it, it really does suck. And yeah, it's a uh, very unfortunate, uh, but um, yeah, still looks alright. Uh, you know, they have all their printing on there. Just, just that they could have used the correct uh, mode, but yeah. So uh, the torso printing here, you can see, uh, you got all these wraps here, and uh, yeah, you have all the armors, and uh, yeah, uh, the belt. Uh, I believe. Uh, you just have uh, these straps going going down, and yeah, uh, the legs. You also have more straps, and yeah. Uh, so the back, you can see you have uh, this pouch, I believe, and yeah, you have all these uh, armor stuff. But um, yeah, uh, aside from that, that's it for Bastan. So the third figure here is the U-Wing pilot. So he's armed with uh, the blaster pistol, and uh, yeah. So you can see the helmet here. Um, I believe this helmet is a unique uh, helmet. Uh, yeah, I mean not the helmet, uh, but I mean the printing. And uh, yeah, does uh, look pretty great. And yeah, but um, you can see. Under the uh, helmet there, you can see you got uh, the pilot's face, which, yeah, it's an excited face. And, yeah, so the torso printing, you have all these uh, breathing stuff, you know, all the all these uh, life support uh, systems. And, uh, yeah, you have this tubing right here. And the legs, uh, you have some, some printing, but, yeah, I'm not sure what they are supposed to be. But, yeah, so the back you have uh, the scared face of the Ewing pilot when I guess the Ewing is uh, crashing. But yeah, um, uh, so the back you have you just have this strap and also this uh, white uh, thing. But um, yeah, so aside from that, that's it for the Ewing pilot. So the fourth figure here is Cassian Endor. So he's armed with uh, this uh, blaster and yeah, so uh, the uh, the face here, you got his uh, serious face, and the torso printing, you have uh, his uh, blue jacket here, and uh, yeah, like uh, the the belt, uh, you just have uh, some, I guess uh, those are c communication devices, and yeah, but um, uh, the light printing, uh, not sure what the, they are, but yeah, uh, uh, so the back, uh, you can see uh, he got his alternate expression here, which is his kind of smiling face, and you got uh, all these um, fluffy parts, I guess, of uh, his uh, jacket, because uh, I believe it's supposed to be some sort of a coat uh, jacket, you know, but yeah, so uh, the back, you just have uh, some belt printing, you know, some, uh, some creases, but yeah, like uh, aside from that, that's it for Cassie. So last but not least, this is Jin Urso. So she's armed with uh, the blaster, blaster pistol, and she comes with her uh, stick or baton type thing. Yeah, uh, the baton here looks like uh, the baton from uh, the Force Awakens. You know, the right control stormtrooper baton but yeah um so she does have a uh, purse here and yeah it's uh it's the same purse uh ex same exact purse uh for uh ray as well and she also have uh th this uh, scarf part of her uh outfit and yeah so uh the helmet here is also inaccurate to the official uh lego one because uh the official lego one i believe it's a new mode ex exclusive uh, to the set and yeah but it's uh, this is a rebel trooper helmet as well but uh, yeah just that 
it, it, it does have all the designs, but yeah, it, it sucks that you can't put on the uh, goggles because that would just look nice. But uh, yeah, so uh, let's remove everything here. So uh, removing all those stuff, you can see uh, you got her uh, serious uh, face here, and yeah, uh, the torso printing, you have her jacket right here, and uh, yeah, you have uh, these zips, and yeah, uh, you know, it, it's uh, pretty accurate to the uh, movie version of uh, Jen Erso. and yeah, uh, so the back, you have her angry expression, and you just have printing for her uh, jacket, but uh, yeah, like, aside from that, that's it for Jin Erso. So this is the Ewing build itself here, um, so you can see it has a very long wings here, and yeah, uh, the wings, they have uh, all kinds of uh, different colors, all crowded, uh, there's uh, no pattern, and yeah, but um, you know, you got some yellow and blue on it, you got this really long blue uh, stripe here, and yeah, um, you got this gray part right here, which I'm not sure if it is in, on the, the ship uh, in the movie, and yeah. Uh, you also got some of these uh, yellow uh, grill pieces on there, and yeah, they do look a little bit weird, but yeah, they are, they are still right. And uh, you also have these thicker pieces, uh, you know, and you know they are pretty cool. And yeah, uh, so the front you have uh, two of these uh, laser cannons, and yeah, um, they they do look pretty cool there. And you also got two of these uh, spring lo loaded uh, shooters, and yeah. Uh, how you activate it, uh, you just press on one of these and uh, you just fire out, but yeah, this is uh, leaping, uh, leaping, so um, yeah, most of the time it won't fire, but sometimes it will if you put it right, but yeah, um, uh, the spring lustrous, I guess you can replace them with the official Lego ones if you have extra uh, of those. And yeah, so uh, let's get into the like the main feature of the set. So uh, currently, the ship here is in its uh, stow uh, stowaway uh, configuration, and you can uh, put it into the defense uh, conf configuration and by just opening these S fours. And yeah, um, they are uh, connected by ball joints in there, and. Yeah, um, they do lock in pretty well, and you can just uh, push that, and there's also another uh, ball joint connector piece right there, and you can just push this out, and yeah, this ship is uh, really wide, and yeah, it does look uh, pretty good, and yeah, so here's how it looks uh, from the back. And yeah, you can see a uh, really long wings, and yeah, it does take up a lot of space. So yeah, you probably should just put it into uh, the the normal stowaway uh, configuration. And yeah, so uh, to the back here, uh, you can see you got uh, four of these uh, engines. You know, they are uh, not engines, but they are thrusters. And yeah, um. They do look pretty cool, they are long, and you, you just have uh, these stickers right here, and uh, yeah, um, uh, there's uh, one at the top and one an at the bottom on each of the cluster, and uh, yeah, uh, you just have this design right here, which I'm not sure what that is, but yeah, it looks uh, pretty cool. And yeah, um, so you have uh, these uh, vents right here, these cooling vents, uh, which, you know, they just use uh, these grill pieces, quite a lot of them actually, and you have this bottom part, which I guess you can kind of open up if you want to, but yeah, there's nothing in there. Uh, maybe you can put this as a storage compartment, maybe if you kind of modify it. But yeah, I'm not. I'm not really sure what you can do with it. But yeah. Um. Uh. So to the cockpit part here. So. Uh. Um. So the cockpit part right here. Um. You can see. Uh. You got this. Uh. Printed. Uh. Canopy piece. And yeah, that's a uh, pretty nice. Leafin did a pretty nice job there. And. Uh, you also got this piece with this uh, uh, claw thing here, and yeah, um, uh, this is some sort of uh, core for the ship, and yeah, um, so you got two of these uh, pieces right here, which uh, you know, 
they are for uh, pushing this thing to get it open if you uh, don't have the grip to pull it like this so you just push this thing and you got this and you can just open it up and yeah um, so inside you just have this uh, printed console piece and also you, you just got a seat right there for the uh, Ewing pilot which you can just uh, put him in there and he can just sleep down like this and yeah uh, and there's a there's a th there's a problem here. Uh, this piece right here, uh, this piece supposed to be a uh, like a a piece where you can put the the you can stuck the main figure legs on into the middle, and the figure just get get stuck there. And yeah, you don't have to use studs or anything. So yeah, uh, Lee Pin Din made that piece. I'm not sure why. Uh, it's really annoying, but uh, the figure still um, still sits uh, securely in there, and yeah, that's uh, definitely great. And you can hold this thing from the back here, and I'll just zoom out. And yeah, um, uh, so the bottom here, you got uh, this bottom viewport, which you have two of these stickers right here. And yeah, uh, they use this. Uh, I believe this is a. A X-wing cockpit. I'm not quite sure, and the minifig just fell down. But yeah, um, yeah, I believe this is a X-wing cockpit, uh, from the UCS set. So that's definitely cool, uh, that they made that piece. And you got these side uh ports here, which you can, you know, kind of open it up. They are kind of flaps, but yeah, they're supposed to be closed. So uh, this is the um, the bay door thing here, and yeah, you can slide this open, and yeah. So here we got this sticker piece, and uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know why they printed this to green. Uh, you know, uh, it it won't look green in the like in the video, but yeah, it looks really green to me. And yeah, um, I, I forgot what color is supposed to be. I I think uh, it's supposed to be this color, but they kind of printed it to green, so that's kind of annoying. But yeah, um, you can just uh, pull this thing and slide it open. It it's a little bit tight, tight, but yeah, you can still get it open. I'll open it from both sides, and inside you got two of these uh, blasters, and yeah, um, you can just pop them out. And yeah, these studs they do fall off really easily. I just use the offshore leg of studs so that they won't fall off that easily. But yeah, if you uh if you put their studs on there, uh this thing will just the studs they'll just fall off really easily. But yeah, the stud sure uh they do kind of work, but they just they just kind of pop the stud out, so yeah. But inside, you got nothing really interesting inside. Uh, you just have that thing. You can you can I guess sit a figure right there. Uh, maximum I think you can put like uh, four figures. Uh, but if you want a uh, comfort fit, then yeah, um, you can only put uh three figures in there, and you can just uh sit a baston right here, and. Yeah, it's really hard to put the figure inside, but yeah, uh, you, you can't close the door if you have the figure right here with the structure. So you have to remove the structure piece if you want to close the bay door with the figure inside. So yeah, but um, uh, like uh, aside from that, uh, that's uh, pretty much it for the build. Uh, nothing else too special to this, but. Yeah, um, like this thing, uh, a lot of stuff here just is, it, it doesn't work so well, but yeah, it, it still looks nice, and yeah, but the, that's it. For so, overall conclusion of this set here, so how do I think of it? Um, well, uh, the figures, um, I think um, they are alright, the quality is um, just like, all the normal leaping quality. The problem here is that they just altered all of the pieces uh, on three of the figures. Uh, yeah, like the gin or so the helmet. I think um, it's no big deal. It's all right. Uh, you know, just that it just doesn't look so accurate. And uh, the rubble trooper, it's also all right. The like the only problem here is with with Bistan because he just looks like. He, he just looks like a terrible figure and yeah like
like the they just didn't make the accurate hit mode for him and yeah that kind of sucks and yeah I'm not sure if Leapin is consistent with their quality on like one set uh, you know maybe uh, on the other batch maybe they finally decide to make the mode for maybe Jin Erso's uh, helmet then yeah maybe you uh, you get the helmet if you buy the if you buy the like the uh, all the other uh, later batches and yeah but uh, the Ewing itself um, I think uh, it's alright um, yeah the spring loader sure, uh, the spring loaded shooter doesn't quite work but you know the it's it's a problem with almost all of the leaping sets anyways so yeah what can you do about it and yeah, um, the and the Stutcher, um, yeah, a lot, a lot of uh, bullet brands made the Stutcher, and yeah, a lot of them just doesn't work. So you know, the Stutcher and the spring loaded uh, shooter is alright, uh, but the problem here is that uh, they uh, they didn't make the mold for this uh, this part, this middle, this uh, this section right here. They didn't make the mold for this one, you know, with the the you know the T shape piece, and yeah, that that kind of really sucks because the figure is um is not so secure in there, and yeah, um, I'm not sure if you can get like a replacement for it or something, but yeah, I didn't I didn't get the replacement because yeah, uh, not sure if they would make make. Uh, they have made that uh, before or not, but yeah, like um, like aside from three of those problems, um, I think the U wing is alright. Uh, the build is fine, and yeah, uh, and also another problem with this set is that it doesn't have numbered backs, which uh, just makes this build uh hard a little bit harder to build so yeah that, that kind of sucks so yeah overall this set has a lot of problems but yeah I, I mean uh, I'm, I'm not quite sure if you get uh, a Leapin Ewing set uh, I'm not sure about the quality because yeah uh, they are not consistent so yeah but uh, I mean uh, Leapin is the only bootleg brand out there that makes the Ewing uh, Lego Ewing uh, copy so yeah you can only get leaping so yeah it, uh, you, you can maybe get the official Lego one uh, you waited for for it to be on sale but yeah it still be expensive so yeah uh, maybe this is your only option if you want to get a Lego Ewing set but yeah still I think uh, it's an alright set just that it has a lot of problems and yeah I just kinda don't like the problems but yeah so uh, if you want to buy the set I'll put a buy link down in the description box below if I can find it along with all my social media pages down in the description so if you like my channel make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here so that's it for the video thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you very soon